welcome to episode 32 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. MK Dons are looking quite different. They've got Rory Hood and Richard Baxter up front with Spantman, Tully and Booth in the midfield. Left back Leighton Adams. In centre back there's Ryan Swine and of course Lynn Pendry in the net. I don't know what's powering Melville but he's available for this game and we are going to play him. It is a big one. MK Dons against AFC Wimbledon. Traitor! They're all traitors. Right, Chato is already getting forward. <laughs> Stop this. Ryan Twine has a yellow card. Callum O'Flannery. Run! Oh, oh, Callum O'Flannery! Oh, Florence Spampman up against Adam Nichols. That's a decent shot. Rory Hood with a head on. <laughs> This image is cursed. Oh, a Conquo press. You better believe it. Stiopovich is going to give Twine problems. Lynn Pendry can't save a thing. Django Swinkles is trying to take it around David Tully and just about manages that. Easy pass into Adam Nichols with all the space in the world. He's asking a Conquo to make a run. Throw a ball. Oh, Conquo! Saved by Lynn Pendry. Someone's getting a moloed out of this place soon. Great save, Enzo Bardi. And Beckett's tried to clear it, but miss kicks and actually gives away the corner. It's fine. 53 minutes gone. Played to the edge of the box. Adam Nichols can't get a foot in. In fact, no one can get a foot in. Amalo! Another corner kick. Rory Hood. Oh, he's now playing reverse balls. Great save, Enzo Bari. Out by Nichols, but just as far as uh, Rory Hood. Rory Hood has scored a brace. Scored twice against Wimbledon. Rory Hood. Come on, Eric Melville. Yes. Straight through the middle. Eric Melville. Oh, I love it. Eric Melville. Oh, that is a great goal. Eric Melville. Oh, <laughs> kickoff glitch. I don't care if it's a kickoff glitch. That is a sensational run by the player that's just returned from injury. Trading blows. Is there going to be a winner? Here's old Flannery on side. Looks like he is. Oh, well, well that touch by a Congo actually turned into a pass. A Congo! Yeah! The genius of Mikel Okonkwo knows no bounds. Turning to a right scrap here. The Okonkwo press working like magic. Seconds to go. The last attack. Oh, Kill! Oh, it's fantastic by Bright Chateau. But the play still continues. It's in. It's Vieira Nan who doesn't clear it properly. <laughs> the cheese lover, Casey Holland, with a last minute equalizer. Well, this has been a very, very good game. Jacob Vieira and Anne, you've got questions to answer, mate. Full time, five minutes, we've played out the two. 3-3 three, three at the end of the game. I think it's fair, although, to lose them three points so late. Bit disappointing. I mean, Rory Hood is quite the sensation, isn't he? FC Wimbledon against Tranmere Rovers. Stop putting Eric Melville in goal. It's unfair, Boris. That is quite a wonderful ball, and it's Schneg against the world. Oh, and Schneg's lost. Schneg's lost that. First attack of the game. It's 1 0 Tranmere Rovers. What is going on here? Mate, what? Tranmere are really good? Uh, so a 2 0 down now. He's oh. out. Uh, what? Where did the ball go? No! They're 21 yards out from the free kick. I am scared. This could be four. They've faked it. No! Don't do this to me! No! I wish to leave. We're 4 0 down. We haven't got into their box yet. Oh no! It's five. <laughs> 30 minutes gone. 5 0 Tranmere. <laughs> Just please give me a bounce. This is getting ludicrous. That's not a pen. That's not a penalty. <laughs> that is not a penalty. No, seriously, ref. You, you got that wrong. <laughs> Delaport Beckett has not touched him. Delaport, you see a foul there? <laughs> it's not a foul. Just leave me alone. I beg. It's like 33 minutes into the game. No. <laughs> oh, no. They're on the attack again. They're doubled up on this wing. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Why did Beckage not lock on? This is a mauling. 
A mauling of gigantic proportions. It's seven nil. <laughs> I've lost it. This is ridiculous. Oh, great ball, to be fair. Yeah, Django Swinkles, Eric Melville. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> Consolation, boys. We're still in it. We're still in it. It's like it's nil no, nil, no, boys. Come on. <laughs> Oh, we might have another one before half-time. Could it get interesting? No. <laughs> half-time here, nothing to see. Wimbledon won. Tramia Rovers, seven. That's another one. <laughs> okay! How do we stop this? He's scoring from everywhere. Ferrier with his fourth. Go on, Callum. Yes! Callum O'Flannery. How's your first touch? Not bad. Good finish. Eight, two. A loose one that Callum O'Flannery picks up. Boris Stiopovich. Oh, he's lucky. Through ball. I think a Conquo is onside. Mikhail Conquo. <laughs> Three eights. We've had 11 goals in 60 minutes. Where has Tranmere gone? Adam Nichols to make it 4 8. Adam Nichols saved Kalmo Flannery on the rebound. It's 8 4. <laughs> it's 8 4. Four more goals. What is going on? It is Django Swinkles and Kalmo Flannery has opened up up the space on the wing, Calamo Flannery! This scoreline is absolutely mental! Very much a tale of two halves. We've made the scoreline a lot less embarrassing. Wimbledon 5, Tranmere 8. 13 goals in a match. Something was possessing Tranmere. 12 shots, all on target. I've never seen the likes. That is the most abnormal game of FIFA. Oxford United against AFC Wimbledon. Player to watch, Callum O'Flannery. Well, you can watch him now. Callum O'Flannery with no markers. He's so rapid. He's made up so much ground. Callum O'Flannery getting inside. He is insane, that boy. Boris Stiopovich with the goal. Little bit open in the center. Shot comes in and that is a banger. Not stopping that one in a hurry. You can see the pressure that we put on the right-hand side. Well, after the last game, a half-time score of 1-1 might seem boring, but this thing hasn't been boring at all. Defender on the floor, he's failed to slide into Boris Stiopovic. How's your composure? Flip flat bottom corner! Run, Kalamo Flannery, run! Just unstoppable, Kalamo Flannery! Oh, mate! Oh! <laughs> Kalamo Flannery! Oh, what a player! Wow! Yeah, he is something very, very special. Oh, well, it's three against one. Ruben Cook, try and slide in. Nah, front post, as always. Can't rely on the keepers to save at the front post. <laughs> Big tackle. Dalibor Bekic with a monumental stop because he was just about to pull the trigger and Enzo Bardi dives to catch. Game certainly has a slower tempo at the moment, which might be favorable to Oxford United. Oh, and that is another banger to equalise. We've got to pick it up a gear. There's a missed tackle by both Adam Nichols and Dalibor Bekic. The game's been seriously, seriously harsh to me today. We were the better side over the 90, but for the last 30 minutes, we were so terrible. And we've not only dropped all three points, but we've not got any points from it at all. So this was the first goal that Oxford United scored today. I just want you to take a look at Dalibor Bekic. I don't know who I've got selected in this play. It's either O'Flannery, Swinkles or Nichols. Certainly not Dalibor Bekic because he stands still. Why is he standing still? I don't get it. Final game of the episode. Let's hopefully get a win. AFC Wimbledon against Big John Akinde. Our first ever youth squad legends as a full-time YouTuber, and we have yet to win a game. It must change in this match. Stiopovic to a Conquo! Well, we know what Jacob Vieira Nan's waiting for. It's a run by Callum O'Flannery. Cutting inside Callum O'Flannery, and still Callum O'Flannery! 
Whoa! Why is Bekic there? I already know that this is going to end up in a goal. Yes! Enzo Bordi denies Johnny Kinde. It's been that kind of game. Yeah, man! This all started because Dalibor Bekic had a field trip to the midfield. Going to kick for Lincoln City and that's out by a conquo. Oh, yeah. This is a joke! Everything's been so accurate. And it's very unfair on Enzo Bordi. This man could be getting sent off. Grant is lucky not to be sent off. 33 yards out. We play a short ball to Mikel Okonkwo. That's Dali Ball Bekic with a miss. And Young's now going to get booked. Boris Stiapovic, back heel, Okonkwo turn. Finish, Mikel Okonkwo. Okonkwo could get himself a hat trick. Mikel Okonkwo. It's Sergeant Thick and the Blues Brothers. No, Akinde, no! You left Akinde near the penalty spot. You know what the result will be. Almost every shot leads to a goal. You get to a stage where you can't even allow them to take shots anymore. Boris! Oh, man, this is just ridiculous. There's too many goals going in at the moment. I don't believe that the gameplay mod that we've added... It's getting removed after this. Enzo Bardi might as well not be there. Back post. You can see it already. It's 5-4 Lincoln. Unfortunately, we are going to end this without a victory. It's another tight defeat here. And I'm all for the AI being difficult. That's the reason why I put sliders on in the first place. But... I don't think this gameplay mod is that. I'm still getting goals. A lot of them. But on the other end of the field, the AI are like Terminators. Yeah, 10 shots. 10 shots on target. We're going to move the shot error up for the CPU. Markin's currently at 50, but if we let them stand off a bit, that might be more effective. We'll drop the defensive line height to 45 and see what that's like in the next episode. So, the gameplay mod is probably the way to go. But with that being said, it was certainly the most unbalanced gameplay today. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. Bye.